vlogging, a quintessential part of the YouTube landscape. Adventurers and content creators of all type grab a camera and decide they're going to share their life with hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of people. But the best vloggers always seem to have top of the line equipment. What do you do if you don't have that kind of equipment and you don't have the money to afford that kind of equipment? Well, this video is for you. You don't necessarily need top of the line equipment, but no matter what, you will need a camera and a computer. Today, I'm gonna to show you my new vlogging setup comprised of inexpensive cameras that you've seen me use before. This is how I use them today. As you may have noticed, I have multiple cameras, two action cameras, and one interchangeable lens pocket camera, which will be the highlight of today's video. This is the Sony Next F3. It's a camera that I've actually used before on various productions, most notably my horror film The Perfect Letter, which I shot with this camera in the Sony NEX5. The NEX line has reputation for image quality, the last in line being the Sony NEX7. Currently, the A line and the RX line have taken over in popularity, but there are still some who hold out hope for an NEX8. The NEX F3 is comparable to much of what's on the market today in terms of image quality. And while it can't shoot in 4K, it gets a great 1080p image suitable for most vlogs. Casey Neistat's latest vlogs were uploaded in 4K, but the majority of his daily vlogs were 1080p. Now you might be saying, that's all well and good, Nathan, but what does this mean to me? Well, a lot of the older NEX cameras can be snatched up off of eBay for a ridiculously low price. Many times they come with the kit lens, but you can find them body only anywhere between $100 and $200. I believe mine cost about $150 when I got it. I got my NEX5 cheaper for around $50 because the lens mount wasn't communicating with the actual lenses, but I knew how to use the shoot without lens function and I just put an adapter on it and adapted my Canon lenses to it. Now if you go this route, you want to get the Sony SEL 16F28, which is a 16 millimeter lens, which is perfect for vlogging. Now keep in mind, this made sense for me because I already had the camera and spending $140 to $150 for this lens made more sense than spending $500 to $800 for a new main vlogging camera. So now my Sony Next F3 is my main vlogging camera and of course my Panasonic G7 is my main production camera. And with all that being said, my secondary vlogging camera you guys know what it is. It's the SJ7 Star from SJ Cam. You've seen my reviews on this camera. You know what I think about this thing. I love, love, love it specifically for the audio. It's great for a vlogging camera. Like I say, I have multiple vlogging cameras. You don't have to have multiple vlogging cameras. You can actually have one of these or the other. Both of them are good choices. The SJ7 Star has an external microphone uh, that will actually go into the USB port. The uh, Sony Next F3 does not have any type of external microphone connector, but the onboard mic is pretty good actually. The SJ7 Star is capable of 4K shooting as well as 1080p and 720p slow mo. SJ Cam is always testing these cameras, updating the firmware, updating, updating, updating. So it's definitely a winner in my book. 
Now you guys know what this is. This is the SJ5000X, one of my favorite cameras. Uh, I used this as a crash cam. I connect this to cars and things like that to get those kind of shots. And uh, I do that because if something does happen to the camera, it won't happen to one of my more expensive cameras. This camera gets a great quality image and uh, allows me to do those things. I also use my uh, SJ7 Star as a crash cam as well, but uh, this was my original crash cam. And I actually shot some of uh, the upcoming Crisis Function Awakening with this, as well as uh, the some of the transit film was shot with this camera also. Now this camera is a 4K camera, but the 4K is interpolated, unlike the SJ7 Star, which is a true Ultra HD 4K camera. Now you guys know what this is. This is my 2013 MacBook Air. This is what I use for mobile editing. Fits like in probably all of my bags. Drop it right in there. I can take it to a coffee shop, whatever I wanna do, and uh, just do my editing on this thing. Now you can do basic 1080p videos, but you can also do short 4K videos as well. I've edited a few on here thing gets it done. Now it's a lot slower, but it will get it done. Now this, again, you guys know 2012 MacBook Pro. This is my main computer. I don't have desktop anymore. Everything is done from this thing. It crunches everything and it gets it done. All of this, all of this stuff, the SJ Cam footage, the uh, Sony footage, the Panasonic footage, it all goes into here. 1080p, 4K, slow-mo, all of it goes right into this thing and gets edited. And, uh, you know, it, it takes care of me, man. It gets it done, and uh, I love this thing. Now, if, uh, if I do well this year on YouTube, you know, things go really well for me, I might do an, up, uh, an upgrade to a 2017 uh, but I really want to give my MacBook Air to my mom. So that's that's my plan with that. I want to give her that and go uh, MacBook Pro for my uh, for my main computer and my weight computer. So uh, that's my plan for the future. So again, if I blow up this year, things get real big. Uh, that's that's what I'm going to be looking at. So now for the final thing. This is my selfie stick of choice. I use the SJ Cam selfie sticks and I use them because uh, they don't have that give. Uh, so like they don't twist around, they actually lock in place. And uh, they can actually hold my SJ Cam cameras as well as my Sony NEX uh, F3. And uh, I like the articulation on them. And uh, so I use those uh, for that. I actually have two of them now, and one of them actually has the remote control. So uh, that's pretty much it. Those are the things that I use for vlogging. Hey guys, Future Nathan here. And uh, as you can see, I had a bunch of cameras. I had some other cameras too, but uh, this camera uh, is a camera that we did a giveaway for. So uh, that's what this part of the video was me talking about the giveaway and stuff like that. But this video still stands today. Uh, the Sony uh, Next F3 of the big camera, I might actually get another one. Uh, I still plan on getting, uh, you guys know my Next 5T, uh, you guys know what happened to that. So uh, I do plan on getting another one, I'm getting a 5R and yeah, I mean, this video still stands up today and uh, the stuff I'm saying in this video still stands up today as far as uh, a low profile vlogging setup, you know, very mobile, very portable, very lightweight. Uh, this still stands. Now, I may do an updated version of this one day uh, because you can do all this on a, an iPad Pro now. Uh, the thing about it is uh, the MacBook Air, the 2013 MacBook Air and uh, a lot of the stuff from that time period is a lot cheaper than, than an iPad. You could probably get a MacBook Air, a 2013 MacBook Air, probably for about uh, three, $400 now. So uh, something to consider. Now, there is a part two to this video, and I might upload it tonight or maybe tomorrow. But it's just about two more cameras that you can get 
uh, really cheap on eBay right now. They came out back in the day and you can grab them uh, today for under a hundred dollars. Again, if you're just, you know, you just want something to do some basic vlogging with, I got you. I got you covered. And uh, you're going to see a lot of videos about SJ Cam. I'm going to upload uh, as many of the SJ Cam videos if, as I can find. Uh, I got a lot of SJ Cam vlogs. Uh, it's usually M20, uh, the SJ 5000X Elite. There's a ton. Of, I got a lot of good stuff with that. And uh, the SJ6 Legend and the SJ7 Star. So like all their, like all the cameras from around that time, I have videos about. So if that stuff interests you guys, be on the lookout for this. I'm also going to upload some new stuff. Uh, I have a new video that I'm probably going to do somewhere in there about the Sony Next 5R and some other stuff. Uh, they're also uh, one of those cameras I talk about, uh, one of the cheaper cameras. Uh, I'm going to bring that back. I'm going to bring it back, talk about it a little bit, do some updated versions of these videos, and uh, see where we go from there. Also, I mentioned I was going to re-upload Ambient Evil. I still plan on doing that. I might even upload the trailer tonight. So I'll see uh, see how things go. But other than that, you guys take it easy. And uh, I'm going to get back to work on some other stuff and getting these videos up. Uh, hopefully in the next few days, I'll have uh, the bulk of the ones I really want up there. Uh, there's actually a few, there's even a few drama videos uh, I'm probably going to, at least uh, at least one I know I'm going to put up, and that was my very first drama video I did on, on my vlogging channel, and that's the video that actually got me a, a lot of fans, my first video that really got me a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of views and uh, a lot of subs for that channel. So, all right, guys, you take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters, check you later. Hasta.